What's up everyone, Trey Thousand from DTM, another video. Uh, this time we're looking at the black and silver Jordan 5 from 2007. Uh, I know when uh, everyone saw that these were going to come back, everyone was really excited, uh, myself included. Uh, the only problem, had that jump in on the back. And the last time we got a retro, or actually the first time we got a retro of the black and silver Jordan 5, it had Nike Air on the back and no 23 stitching. Um, this time we got the 23 stitching, and uh, this I guess uh, they did it because you know Jordan had a player sample with this 23 stitched on the side, and I got a lot of attention, so they brought this out. Uh, only difference is his had Nike Air on the back because he was wearing them back in 1990. So uh, jump in on these, not a big deal, but as always, Nike Air is better. Uh, the, uh, the tongue on these is, is different than the, uh, 2000 retro and the originals. This material is, uh, stiffer and the reflection on it, like the, uh, reflective material they use for the tongue is, uh, not as reflective. Um, also the, uh, the lace lock has the Jumpman logo on it, whereas the, uh, 2000 and 2000 Retro and the original had Nike Air on it. Uh, original had Nike on the bottom. This one says Jordan. And uh, the 2000 Retro, see this ankle padding? You see how it's like empty in there? It's just like... Now, for those of you that have owned a pair of 2000 uh, retros or know someone who does, feel this ankle padding. On the 2000 retro, it's it's nice and soft. It's not it doesn't feel empty like you're pressing on cardboard. Um, on the originals, it was very uh, like a light padding, and uh, all around they're all right. I mean, the air unit on these also was colored black. Whereas the 2000 Retros, it was, you know, the clear uh, air unit as well as the uh, the original was like that as well. But uh, one thing that I've stated before that I feel that the 2007 Retro has uh, over the 2000 Retro is that it has like a more narrow cut to it. And I feel that these... Uh, these fit truer to the uh, to the originals. Uh, like I said, that's my opinion. Uh, I've owned the originals. I've owned the 2000 retro and this 07. So other than that, it was a decent retro. Um, you know, uh, one big problem with these is that the the paint tends to crack. Uh, it actually, happened on this pair. Um, Not sure if you can see that. And I mean, these weren't really worn much. Maybe three times, four times, if that. So definitely an uh, issue with the paint. Something that I didn't have an issue with on the, uh, the 2000 retros. And uh, something I didn't have an issue with on the originals. So I don't really know what to say about that, but Anyhow, they uh, they fit true to size, so whatever you wear in an Air Force One, I would pick up in these. And uh, all around, it was a solid retro, nice to have in a collection. Even if you have the 2000 retros, you'll probably want to pick up these, because I got the 23 stitching on the back, jump in on the back. And uh, just nice and comfortable. And price range, I'd say maybe anywhere from, and we're talking about new pairs, I'd say maybe... 200 to 250 and uh, that's it now if you guys have any questions concerns comments feel free to drop me a line uh, and oh one more thing I'll show you what the uh, the box on these look like so 
anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop me a line. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.